what I like particularly with Dinner in the Sky is that it's a very creative concept. Creative about the, the table in itself, the food you give to your, your 22 guests, about uh, also what you are doing on the table, uh, because you can do a meeting, you can do uh, all sorts of things connected with gastronomy or not connected with gastronomy. Then, the location is very important. Here, Dolce uh, La Hulp uh, welcomes us in a really outstanding location, but we can have also other locations connected to natural marvels, like the Grand Canyon, for instance, like the Niagara Falls. People talking to us, they want to have it in Masai Mara, to have dinner in the sky at Festival de Cannes. We are very mobile, so we can go everywhere, in every location, without spoiling anything. The last thing where we can be creative is what we are doing today is to have a sudden crane and to organize an original entertainment for our guests. Today, but we have a piano here and a violin, so we can entertain them with music. But we can also be more practical to have, for instance, a car presentation in the sky. It's just a table, it's a table in the sky. So it's not a question of fashion, it's, it's connected with uh, our child dream, with what, what we have in mind uh, when, when, we were, when we were children. With dinner in the sky, what's great is that really I think that the sky is the limit.